Turn on the air switch. Turn on the emergency stop. Then turn on the laser and galvanometer. Turn on the host. If it is fiber laser, it can work directly. If it is UV laser, need to wait until the green light to be on. This is the icon of our software. Let's open it. Now the first thing we do is edit a content. Center it. And we can zoom in using the scroll wheel. We can quickly resize it a little bit and center it. Then you can see here on the left, there are two coordinates. Which are the sizes? X represents the width and Y represents the height. Now let's look at the parameters on the right. The UV marking machine can only adjust the speed, while the fiber optic marking machine can adjust the power. At this time, we only need to adjust the speed. Let's try marking it now and find the focus of this laser. We take the metal business card down here and click on the mark. Then we shake the column to find the longest point of the laser which is also the place where the sound is the quietest and brightest. Select our text and modify the content. Just click apply here, and then change the size. The lock is proportional. We lock it and enlarge it in proportion. Seven millimeters high. Its unit is millimeter, height and width. Here are the coordinates. This side probably doesn't need to be moved. Apply it and it will become bigger. Center it and then fill it. Click this H and choose the blue eye shape type here. This is the fastest mode. The line spacing is generally selected as 0.08. Then the cross fill is checked according to the actual situation. Now we check the cross fill. Okay, let's take a look. But inside it is a cross. Let's cancel the cross fill, and it will become a horizontal line. Then you can check it. Here you only need to change the line spacing and whether to use cross filling. Then you can see there is a speed parameter on the right, which is the marking speed. The laser marking speed is related with the materials. Some materials require you to print very quickly, so we'll speed it up a bit. Some materials require you to print very slowly, so we'll slow it down a bit. Let's set it to 500 here. The frequencies and pulse widths below are only available for ultraviolet equipment. The optical fiber only has a percentage of power. This one is ultraviolet. If you don't know the parameters here, the engineers will assist you remotely. Let's try the parameters here with 500 first. Let's mark this business card and cancel the continuous processing because we've just found the focus. If you tick it, it will keep hitting. We only need to hit it once and then we turn on the red light. Let's try the parameters we just used first. These are the parameters we just used. In the file in the upper left corner, we click Save As. Select the directory and gave it a name called 999. Click Save. Now you can close the software directly and it will not prompt you to save. Look this file, you can open it directly next time. Double click to open. This is what we just edited. The filling and the speed of 500 have not changed. So next time we need to use it, we can just open it and use it. Okay, we are done now. Let's turn off the device now. Close this software. Then turn off the galvanometer and laser. And now we'll turn off the computer. After the computer screen is completely black, we press the emergency stop and the circuit breaker. Okay, that's the close of our device.